Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is a renovation vlog and it is a renovation vlog of the main bathroom. So I'm in the process of renovating the bathroom. So I thought it might be useful to some of you who might be doing a similar project because this is one where it's not just a quick makeover, it's kind of a bit more involved. It involves kind of ripping things out and replacing things and a bit of reconfiguration and that sort of thing. So I thought I would try and document it kind of every day throughout the renovation process and just sort of update you on a daily basis as to what the builders have been doing and just show you the kind of process. I've already kind of dipped into the bathroom a little bit in my loft conversion of vlogs. So I'll leave that playlist in the description box in case you haven't seen any of those already. So the footage you're going to see is going to be from a few months ago and I'll explain why things came to a bit of a halt <laughs> a little bit later. As always, things never seem to go 100% smoothly do they with this kind of stuff, but <laughs> we are back on track and then I'm going to do kind of like a part two, which will be now that the bathroom is in and is in good shape, there will be kind of like a makeover part to this kind of mini series, which will be me getting the paintbrush out and working on the bathroom to give it a full makeover and get it all finished up. I'll also link as many of the things that I show you in the description box down below in case any of them are of interest to you. I know it can be really difficult when it comes to choosing things like tiles and bath panels, shower panels, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, before we jump into the renovation, if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe for new videos every single week. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a little thumbs up. And I'd love to hear in the comments what colour you think I should paint the cupboards and the walls once you've seen everything take shape. I'd love to hear that from you. So let's have a quick sip of the coffee and then we'll jump into the renovation day one. All of the flooring has started to be ripped up. So this is the flooring that was down before. It's a kind of laminate style tile, which I don't think was ideal for a bathroom. But I guess the previous owners probably went for this because they've gone over the old floorboards. So you can see here the original floorboards and then they would put some hardboard on top and then gone down with these over the top of that. So yeah, that's all starting to be ripped up. And then this mirror will need to come out because this is where the sink will be moving to. I've ordered a new sink from eBay. I actually went for just quite a standard traditional sink in the end. I was thinking about getting quite a large built-in unit, but then having thought about it more, because there's going to be the built-in cupboard for the washing machine, which will have a lot of storage above it, and also another built-in cupboard, I thought, Maybe so much storage wasn't necessary here, so I thought just keep things simple. And then around this side, I've changed the plan slightly. So you may remember I was thinking of moving the door. And lots of you had concerns about it being too close to the stairs if it was moved. And I had a little think about that and looked at building regulations and that sort of thing. And I thought instead of moving the door, what we could do is just build the cupboard in this side. So I think that's what we're going to do instead. So rather than having the cupboard accessible from the hallway, I thought we could build a cupboard in here, floor to ceiling, that would be this side of the bath, and it would actually make the bath be contained in kind of its own alcove, if that makes sense. So hopefully it would look like something that's always been here. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I've ordered the new towel rail to go here in the middle and then this will be pushed back and become the cupboards. So yeah, hopefully we've got some kind of plan. This is what the stairs are looking like at the moment. <laughs> I've had some painting going on by the looks of things today. The bath panel has been ripped out and this be very careful now because of the pipe work. So all the floorboards have been ripped up, the bath has been ripped out, the toilet's been removed, and this is how it's looking. So you can see very few floorboards are left. There's lots of big old Victorian nails sticking out of these boards because all of these will be replaced so that we'll have a nice level of floor to tile from. This pipe here that was going to the sink will be moved. We're also going to be adding a pipe that will go out to the outside roof garden which will be really handy for watering the plants and all the tiles will be being ripped off the walls and yeah they've been hard at work today so it looks very messy at the moment but we are making progress 
and I've made a couple of discoveries under the floorboard. So we have this My Mum's Boys and Girls Toilet Tissue, and then I also found this Coke can, which looks pretty similar to modern day Coke cans, doesn't it? But the best before date on this one that came in a six pack is in fact December 1988. So <laughs> it's been down there for a while. And then we have a good old packet of ready salted crisps from Tesco's. Okay, it is day two. It's not actually the second day of this because one of the guys had a bad back, so they've been away for a few days, but it's day two of things actually happening. And as you can see, things have started to be done in terms of the pipework. So today, a piece of the plaster was removed. You can see where it's been screwed back in. And that is to pop in these two pipes here which are for the new towel rail that's going to be installed. And then here is where the washing machine was in this corner. So not much has changed over there just yet. But on this wall, we now have the pipes. I'm just being careful as I walk across <laughs> here because we don't want another person falling through a ceiling. Pipes are in here ready for the sink. And we tested out the sink today and I'm really pleased with how it's looking. Of course, I'll show you later in the video when that is installed. But down here, we have a um, piece of stone, which is where a fireplace would have been originally. We have the chimney breast here. So yeah, they've just installed some new pipe work along the side here to feed in the water. So we've got the cold water coming in from the washing machine feed, and then we've got the additional new piece of piping coming across from the hot water supply. And this is where the sink was before. And as you can see, that has been removed along with the tile, which has taken some of the wall with it. I hope they have better luck with this section here because that does not look good, does it? But anyway, these things can be fixed and this is where a cupboard's going to be built. So we won't worry about that at the moment. Yeah, we've had a lot of flies in here because the waste pipe has been exposed and yeah, if we open the window, flies seem to love it. Gross, I know. Just noticed as well, spirit level is down and that is because they've added some additional support for the floor. So I think they're leveling off all of these beams so we get a nice even surface when the hardboard goes down before the tiling, which is fab. So yeah, in case you were wondering how this works, that is how you can level off your floor if you're in a Victorian house and all your beams are a bit wonky. You just add some additional support, which is what they've been doing here. We've got the bath here <laughs> waiting to go in. And yeah, just a lot of mess everywhere. This is the sink that came from eBay. I'll show it you better when it's installed, but yeah, it's just a traditional style. And I like the fact it had a bit of a built-in splashback on it. And a sink like this will allow for the pipes to just go behind the um, stand. So that will just sit sort of proud, <laughs> proud of the pipes. So yeah, and the toilet will be going back in. And this is the towel rail or the radiator that's going to be installed. And I'm really pleased with this. I think it's really nice. And although I think we might redecorate in the bathroom, I like the gray, I think it will go with most things. So yeah, I'm pleased with that. I think it's actually nicer than the one we went for in the ensuite here, but you live and learn, don't you? Not sure how this has happened, but in the hallway, we have some other holes that seem to have appeared out here on the roof garden. You can see that the tap has gone into position. So yeah, that's very exciting. So it's day three, I've just got back from filming packed lunch today, so I'm very excited to see how things have been progressing today while I've been away. First of all, let's have a look on the roof garden because I've seen there's a few more bits out there. The mountain is piling. This is the situation out on the roof garden. Wow, I hope the rubbish van is coming soon to collect all of this. So let's make our way into the bathroom. Oh, wow. So, wow. <laughs> You're getting my first reactions. I just looked around the corner and saw that. First of all, wow, we have a solid floor. This looks lovely and level. This is the wood that's gone down, so you can see the depth of it. And it's important, I know, to get the depth of a floor like this because that means it's not going to warp and the tiles then won't move and crack. And I'm very pleased to see, along with the Kit Kat Crunchy wrapper, that they've been enjoying the snacks, but I'm very pleased to see that the screws are nice and close together. Because when I did my research, when we fitted the tiles in the hallway downstairs, I researched 
about laying tiles on a you know, wooden floor and it's so important that we get those screws in so that this doesn't start to lump and bump. It's so easy to put the extra screws in, but of course, once the floor's laid, to go back and do that, imagine it would be this situation to pull it up, wouldn't it? So we wanna get that bit right, so that makes me very happy. Onto the wall here, and as you may remember, I said about the um, plaster coming with the <laughs> tile above the sink. Well, it seems that it's come with the tiles above the bath as well. It's come away, I should say. So there we are. The scale of this job is actually a lot more than I predicted. I thought it'd be a case of, you know, just carefully taking off the tiles above the bath and replacing them. But obviously they were welded on so well with the grout that it took the plaster with them. And I guess these are the sort of things that you can't necessarily predict when you're, you know, envisaging a bathroom renovation. So, yeah, there we go. Obviously this wall here is the external wall, so that's got brick behind it. So they've come off there quite nicely and obviously not taking plaster with them. But yeah, this was a plasterboard wall, so I guess it just didn't stand up to that. But not to worry, I mean, putting some plasterboard on there isn't a huge job. And it might have been easier just to rip the whole thing off by the looks of things. I feel like I've missed out on the fun today. I could have had a Sarah Beanie moment, smashing the <laughs> old wall down with the sledgehammer. But yeah, things are moving, aren't they? So this is good to see. I mean, obviously it's chaotic, but yeah, I'm glad to see that there's lots of progress happened today. So this is an interesting situation because obviously we have the original hearth um, from where the chimney would have been. So I wonder what the plan is here. So obviously we have a gap here and some different levels going on. Okay, it's day four. Let's go and have a look how they've been getting on today. So as we can see, the bath has gone in and we have hardboard all the way around it. We have all the plasterboard on the wall now. Basically it got wet. I'm not sure what had happened, but um, a lot of it was rotten. So yeah, we need to get that plastered over and then there'll be tiles going in. And see here, they've put the wood at the back to join that up. And there's a hole here, I'm assuming, to access the pipes. It is day five. Let's have a look at how things are going. So as you can see, the tiles have started to go down and they're looking really good. And also on the wall where the chimney breast is, the pipes have now been boxed off with some plasterboard to disguise all of the pipes. You can just see the two feeds sticking out the top and the water waste pipe sticking out the top. And yeah, so the tiles have started to go down. They look really nice. I like the size of them. I feel like they work well in this space. And this morning I drew a diagram here just to show them the dimensions I wanted them to work with for the built-in cupboard here. So I've got 90 centimeters at the base, which is plenty of room to allow for a suitcase to stand up in there. And then above, I wanted the shelves to have 35 centimetres, which gives plenty of room to put some storage boxes in that you can pick up in Ikea or most shops. And then I thought we'd do three of those, and then whatever's left, just take that up to the ceiling. And I've just come to check the tiles, and it looks like we only have three of the floor tiles left. They're all slightly broken, so I think I'm going to have to put in a quick tile order, I'll ring the builders and ask them if we need some more because we have plenty of the wall tiles. It looks like these ones have run out. Hello, it is Monday and it is day five, six. <laughs> day six of the loft. Of the loft? Oh dear, can you tell it's evening time and I'm tired? It's day six of the bathroom. Let me show you how things are going. So as you can see, the floor has been covered in some protective sheeting and around here, oops, Around here, the toilet started to get boxed in. And then moving round, you can see that the tiles have gone in up this wall. I'm so pleased with how these are looking. I think it's gonna make the room feel a bit bigger, um, especially if we go for maybe a lighter color on the walls. And then they are going to be building the wardrobe here. So yeah, I caught up with them again today just to find out if everything was going all right. And yeah, it looks like they've been measuring up on the wall here and they've added some dimensions to this um, drawing that I did for them. It looks like they've been figuring out the sizing of the doors. I've asked them to leave a bit of space here just to allow the door to kind of open, but we still should get quite a decent width 
um, of the cupboard and it will come out right to the edge of the bath here so it should be nice and deep too. This plasterboard with the blue is, I think it's water resistant so hopefully that one won't go soggy and we won't have the same problem again. And the lights have all been replaced, the last ones had rusted, oh the camera doesn't really like focusing on them but yeah, they've all been replaced too. Okay, it is now day eight. I missed filming yesterday, so let's go and have a look at how things have been going. So the washing machine has been moved, and that is because the storage has started to be built. So you can see here that this unit will contain the washing machine, and it will have enough space to have a bit of a ledge. There'll be two cupboard doors on this section with access to the switch, which is really handy. And then this section here will house the washing machine. And on this side, you can see we have this huge unit now with absolutely loads of storage. Look at the depth on this. This is gonna be a game changer. I've measured it so that we can actually slide in big IKEA boxes. And yeah, really nice and solid. Very pleased with that indeed. That's going to have two doors at the bottom section here and two doors at the top section. And it kind of encloses the bath, which I just think is going to look really lovely. This side of it will be tiled. And I found out they need yet another set of tiles. So those are on order, but they won't be coming until next week now. So yeah, things will be on pause after tomorrow. I'm very excited about the storage and just being able to get things better organized in here and also the storage that's gonna be above the washing machine as well. I think that's gonna be so handy. I think we're now on day 10. I've just checked the calendar. But anyway, today is Friday and I think we're on the 10th day of the bathroom conversion. I've just got back from Leeds. I've been filming today, so I haven't seen it yet. So I thought we would go in together and you can get my first reaction. Oh, wow, <laughs> the cupboard is in for the washing machine. This is very exciting. The tiles are looking good. Wow, we've got the cupboard here as well. Okay, I'm not even gonna look at that yet. I'm gonna go straight ahead to look at this. How cool is that? I can't quite open it because of this here. Lots of sawdust down there from the MDF. Gosh, this is brilliant, isn't it? It'd be so nice to have that just hidden away. And I love the fact that we've got this bit of ledge on top, you know, to put a washing basket on or anything like that. Now, I'm not sure if I'll be able to open that because there's no um, handle on it yet. So I'm gonna have to try and prise it open. There we are. How about that? So we'll be able to get plenty of shelves in here and we'll probably put some nice panelling onto here, I think, or some moulding, you know, to sort of decorate all of these bits, make them look a little bit nicer. And then round this side, we have the other cupboard, which is huge. You can see it goes right the way up to the ceiling. It does look kind of quite overbearing, but I think by the time we've painted it and panelled it, it will very much look like part of the room. So I'm pleased that we've really maximize this storage space because it is something that we are a little bit short of. And look at this. So we have a really deep cupboard here that I will be able to put suitcases into. Traveling quite regularly, it's handy to have them easy access. And I just thought as well, that would be also an option to put a laundry bin into there. I just literally had that thought as I opened the cupboard now because yeah, sometimes it's just nice to hide these things, isn't it? So an alternative use for that space would be to keep things like a laundry bin. You could also obviously keep a hoover in there. You know, you've got the height, so that's fab. That's staying kind of open as is, no shelves in there. But then on the top section, I managed to get one, two, three, and then a fourth one on top and slide in some containers. So yeah, that's great. And then around here, bath is looking good. A bit more work to do on the tiling. You have to tile up the side panels a little bit and also tile across the side of the cupboard. Oh, and I've just seen that the towel radiator has gone on. So that's just protected at the moment for decorating. All working quite nicely. I feel like we haven't lost the spacious feeling of the bathroom still. I still feel like you can walk in, 
plenty of space to come into here. You know, this was kind of like an unused space before. You know, we just had the sink there and this was just a kind of bit of a thoroughfare. So now having this all boxed off and all of that storage boxed off and then the sink will be here with a nice mirror above it. I just think, yeah, it's definitely an improvement but still feels spacious enough. It is loft day, not loft, <laughs> start again. It is bathroom day number 11, so let's see how they've been getting on today. The main tiles arrived for the floor, and yeah, it looks like they've gone down, so let's have a look. So the last tiles have gone in, and so has the grout. The last tiles have gone around the bath surround. This one over here will be added with silicone, so that one can be removed if we need to access the plumbing. And yeah, it's looking fantastic. They've now tiled right the way around up the side of the cupboard and yeah I think that looks great really pleased with the job they've done of the tiling look how neat this is with a nice metal edge on it that will just all need to be filled in I guess and inside the cupboard the original shelves have gone back in they've used those which is good to see I like a bit of upcycling use the wood that we already have. I missed yesterday because I was away. So let's go and see what's been going on. Okay, so in we go. Tiles that have formed the skirting surround look like they're all complete now. Oh, excellent. The sink is in and the toilet is back. That's looking fab. I'm really pleased with this actually. I'll be linking everything in the description box. But this sink I thought was very reasonable and I'm actually really pleased with the design of it and I really like the fact that it's just got this simple kind of built-in splash. So I'm not going to put a tile above that I don't think. Just keep it really nice and simple. I need to put a toilet seat back on. And yeah, how great does the bath look? Wow. So the shower screen is in. We just need to drill in the um, bit for the shower. I'm actually not sure if this came with one so I'll need to check that and get a hook <laughs> popped in for that. And yeah, the... Um, piece here this is the bit that you can remove from what i gather so yeah this is just silicon here rather than grout so that if necessary that could be taken out in the future for any um you know leaks and things like that and this is all done so the tiling's finished up the sides and yeah i think we are pretty much there i'm quite liking the way that the sink lines up with the unit there still feels nice and spacious in here but obviously now we have so much more storage. And I think once a mirror goes on the wall, that will really open up the space too. And just as things seem to be almost finished, we had a bit of a disaster in that there was a leak from the main roof, which was kind of where the bathroom wall connects with the neighboring property. So we were getting some water coming in above the toilet, which was flowing down the wall. It was making a right old mess of the kind of top corner of the plasterwork and also in that kind of boxed area behind the toilet. So work had to stop because it actually involved getting scaffolding put back up at the back of the property in order for roofers to get up there to fix it. So it was put on hold for a number of weeks. Finally, the roof has now been fixed, the leak has been fixed, so the builders have been back in to do the last kind of remaining bits that need doing in the bathroom. It's mostly just kind of filling in repairing the damage from the leak and going around kind of all of the tile skirting. What I'm going to do is a separate video. So once I start the makeover of the bathroom, once I start painting it, once I start adding some, maybe some detail on those cupboard doors and maybe some paneling, that sort of thing. And do let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on colors for the bathroom, for the walls, and also for those cupboards as well. I'd love to know what you think. As I said before, I will link as much of the things I've shown you that are still available to buy online in the description box so you can see where I got those from and get an idea of prices. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, don't forget to click subscribe for new videos every single week. I would love for you to stick around. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.